Hello Libra and welcome to your November reading. I'd like to say a big, big thank you to everybody who's liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. And uh, I'm also got your year ahead. We'll play at the end of this video, Libra. So if you want to see what's in store for you for 2025, then when you've watched this video, have a look at, at your year ahead for 2025. My sister is also releasing her year aheads as well. So you can watch what's coming up for you in 2025 on both our channels. Okay, Libra, for now, let's see what's in store for you for November. You've got the Knave of Wands here. You can see this lovely sunset in the background. Sunsets are like a new day. So recently, in, in the last few weeks, Libra, I would say you've been looking forward. You've got these mountains in the background here. So just have a look at your life, Libra, and see if you've got some kind of background issue, a challenge or a problem that you keep putting off. You keep putting it off and putting it off and you keep trying to move forward and look forward. But all the time in the background, you've got this problem that you haven't dealt with. It could be an issue from the past. It could be, you know, a person and you just haven't said what you wanted to yet and it's been bothering you and bothering you and you've been putting it off. So this is saying it might be time to tackle that issue, Libra. It might, instead of letting it brew in the background, it might be time to tackle it. However, with the three of coins here, I would say to you, Tackle it very slowly. Baby steps. One day at a time. There's no point going in there all guns blazing, having your say and exploding like a bottle of pop. It's the gentle approach. Take it slowly. Because the problem is, because you've been putting, the, putting it off, it's been building up and building up and building up and you need to be careful it don't you don't just explode so you need to, to baby steps approach the situation with the person very delicately and try and do it bit by bit so you might not even have the whole conversation in one go it might be that you just sort of skirt around the edges so to speak you're kind of bringing it in the conversation but slowly and you're building it up until you tackle it. But it does need tackling, but it needs doing in a slow approach, bit by bit, not as one big explosion. Now, what's help or hindering you here? And it's the justice card. So the reason that you've been feeling... Um, angry about this situation the reason why it's been building up in the background and you've been not wanting to tackle it is because you've probably felt some kind of injustice you felt that somebody has done you wrong um, they've not had your back they've not done what's right for you and it's been building and building up in your head and you feel that in some way that this has been injustice for you so you now want your justice you now want your say um but you because you don't feel balanced you don't feel whole it, it's been eaten away at you and you feel that if you have your say and you you know and it will libra while we have these problems hanging on to us it does hold us back and once we've had the conversation and we've sorted it out with the person, then we've let the issue go. And then we really can move forward because you haven't got this huge mountain weighing you down behind. But as I said here, you need to tackle it slowly. You need to have the conversation bit by bit. 
work it up, not just one big argument and explode because there's a way of doing it without it being an argument, without it being an issue, without it being a problem. It can just be an amicable conversation and that is what you want. And when you've done that, Libra, then you will feel so enlightened here, look. It's like you'll be floating on water. You'll feel that your emotions will just feel so free because you've got it off your chest. You've got it. It's not weighing on your mind anymore. And this is what you want. You want to feel free. You want to feel less burdened. And you, you know, and you want to feel happy towards that person again because while you're feeling like that they've not had your back and they there's been some injustice it feels like that relationship it feels like there's a block there and you want to free that block and you want to be happy again and I really do feel Libra that once this has happened and once you've unburdened yourself from this then you'll have this happy home life again here with the Empress card. Look at this person that so happy sat in her throne. She's pregnant. Well, this signifies fertility and growth. And to me, that's saying once you've let go of that burden, once you've had that conversation and everybody's happy again, then it's growth, it's fertility, it's moving forward. And then you've got all this abundance around you because it's saying life will be happy again. Life will be happy. There'll be no more looking back at the past her and having this all weighing on your mind. You'll be able to concentrate on the present. You'll be able to look at this full cup and you'll be able to look forward and say, OK, everything's happy again. We're really feeling like we can move forward and we can progress now and we can grow and you know we can really enjoy our future but you'll only do that by letting go of whatever is eating away at you but as I said you know don't let it turn into an argument try and keep it as an amicable conversation try to keep it light try to keep the mood happy I've got some uh, spirit animal cards here and we've just had uh, two jump out which is the goat and wealth look at this the dragon adventurer and wealth and this is saying um with the goat card it's saying there's more to life than just getting up and doing your usual thing and the goat reminds you to appreciate the people and things that make your life more interesting and colorful you will be craving to embark on new adventures so look up and ahead goat will make sure you don't lose your footing and with the dragon, it says your spiritual dragon wants you to reach your true potential and it can provide knowledge to those who are worthy of its insight. Some associate the appearance of a spiritual dragon with riches, but in reality, it's more to do with being rich with happiness. This is true wealth and it is a path that spirit dragons may guide us down. So goats climb mountains so the goat is going to help you climb this mountain. And when you've done that, you'll find this wealth, this happiness, this spiritual happiness, family happiness. Once you've got over this challenge that you've been putting off and putting off and putting off, once you've faced it and you've faced it amicably, that it will bring happiness because you'll be feeling less burdened, much lighter, and you'll all be able to grow and move forward together. <laughs>